Dr. Mark Changizi here at your Science Moment. Today I'm going to talk about synchrony and the claim or the intuition that some people have that, hey, mass hysteria and all of the events that started in March of 2020, it all happened so fast that it clearly, clearly that's the sign that there was a massive pandemic, a big design to make all of these things happen. Now, there's a couple problems with that. The first problem with that is that uh, if you have the view that the collect that there was a collective hysteria and it was pre-designed, uh, going back to 2009 or you know whatever all these kinds of conspiracy theory evidence are. Well, first of all, if you have the theory that a collective hysteria can be reliably caused, well then. I don't understand even the argument because the whole point is that if you can reliably cause a mass hysteria a wave across the populace for which they suddenly come to have these new righteous religious like rules that they want to enforce and then it sweeps across quickly well then by presumption that sweep that collective hysteria which happens you know overnight um, provides all of the uh, synchrony that you might need and it you don't have to then go say that there's all of these synchronized forces um, in the background that all did this at once. No, all they had to do was say, okay, let's per rely press the button that reliably causes a collective hysteria. So, but I don't think that's their claim. I, I think that seems to be a, some, some kind of confusion if that was their view. I think the only view that I can come up with to have a kind of pandemic would be that um, it's not the case per se that it even was a collective hysteria because once they've admitted there's a collective hysteria, that's where all the synchrony comes from. You, you don't need to then say, well, what explains all the synchrony? No, the synchrony comes from the mass hysteria. Collective hysteria is inherently a synchronized event. It's a wave that, that, that rushes through. And in fact, what you may have seen below first, which I already had going on, was one common example of synchrony. Just a bunch of pendulums initially just arbitrarily um, having their, their, uh, their periods arbitrarily out of phase. And over time, this network, this network of half a dozen pendulums or whatever, um, suddenly become synchronized through the simple kinds of connectivity by virtue of them being connected to the same uh, surface. And uh, you can end up with synchrony, for example, another famous case is fireflies, who there's no centralized um, person or group that's deciding when those pendula should, uh, uh, that they should all now uh, become, it just happens through the emergent properties. Same for these fireflies. There's no committee that does this and says, okay, fireflies, now's the time to create this pattern, this wave. Um, these things happen for free from the physics, from the mathematics of the way that these networks uh, work. And a third case, well, is your brain. Just to give you another example, your brain right now has no centralized portion of it. It's just inherently distributed. It's inherently decentralized. But these thoughts that I'm having and these thoughts that you're having are all highly synchronous things that are happening, highly organized things that are happening through a decentralized processes. So I think I don't fully understand even the claim that, oh, there were all of these organized things all at once. And so the collective hysteria must have been pre-planned. No, if the collective hysteria gets going, whether it was pre-planned and it can't be pre-planned, let's set that aside. Um, if the collective hysteria gets going, that is a synchronous, highly synchronous kind of or coordinated event. It's not coordinated by anyone, but it ends up to be highly coordinated seeming because that's the nature of it. And so all of these other things that were seemingly coordinated after the fact are a result of collective hysteria. You don't then need to go presume uh, coordinated events ahead of time because if you can reliably cause or if it somehow happened that there was collective hysteria, that's where all the seeming coordination comes from. Um, so I, from my point of view, either you have to reject there was collective hysteria, there just wasn't collective hysteria at all, uh, and then hold on to the view that there were these scheming forces from all around that suddenly leaped in and made all of these hap things happen from all directions all at once, March 10th, you know, around March 10th of, of 2020. Or you have to have the view that no, the, the, the conditions on the ground because of the fear, uh, fear and infection, and the nature of social networks today, which are, uh, connect the world, um, the collective hysteria got going around March 10, March 11, 
and it swept through. And then lots and lots of other forces all around, of course, started to move into action. Say, hey, here's our opportunity to help the world. Let's do this to help the world, and to you know, also you know, pad my pocketbook. All of these things happen in a coordinated, seemingly coordinated fashion. All highly linked, highly temporally linked, highly synchronous with that collective hysteria. But that's a result of the collective hysteria, not a cause of the collective hysteria. Um, that was your science moment. Uh, Give us a follow. Give me a follow at Substack. Give my FreeX new our FreeX newsletter a follow. Um, FreeX.group. Uh, give us some support. We're researching the fundamental uh, physics of how social networks, how society and free expression works. That was your science moment.